Welcome back. Now we're going to look at different accessories to draw for the face of our rabbit. So remember last time we painted our beautiful rabbits with watercolors and they're dry. And now the next step is to put things on them or around them in your picture. So we will draw whatever you want to put on the rabbit. So here's what I drew first. First I drew some glasses and a bow to go on the ear maybe. And then I drew, first I drew it with pencil and then I drew with black marker to outline it and next I will paint it. So here's some more ideas besides just basic glasses like circles. I also drew stars, which are really challenging. So try to do the circle first, and if you feel good, draw a giant star. But that one is the hardest. The circle is the easiest, and then the next easiest are the hearts. And notice I drew the, the eyes in the middle. <laughs> the other things that you could draw would be vegetables that the rabbit likes to eat. So I drew a carrot, and I outlined it already. And the third thing that I thought of that could be a fun accessory is draw and paint some flowers to be a crown on your rabbit. So look at this. This will set right on top of the head, okay? So to draw the glasses, I'll show you that net first and then we'll go on to the other ones. So glasses. Okay, so I'm going to give you pieces of paper that are the same size as this. So you can draw glasses from the inside of the paper by about an inch on each side. So I just take my thumb and I go, okay, that's about an inch. My other thumb, okay, so that's about an inch. That's where my glasses, the end of my frame of my glasses should end. And then this will be the ear part. So to start with, let's make... Let's make this curve of the ear, the frame that goes around and behind your ear, okay? Uh, then, for the circle glasses, I, so look for the middle of the paper, okay? So I want to have my circle here, see, right there, and I want to have my circle right there, okay? So, first, I make a really big circle that touches this. Okay. And it's okay if you need to erase. We're using a pencil now. Um, and then to give myself a uh, space, I'm going to put a little bump right there for the bridge of the nose, where the frame of the glasses connect. So now I've got a big circle here. I'm going to do a big circle that's just as big as that one. And again, you can erase and fix and adjust if you're like, no, that doesn't look quite right. I want to make this go in a little bit. You can do that. After you draw your two big circles, you're going to make a fr it into a frame. So here's what I do. I'm going to draw parallel lines. So parallel lines are two lines that don't ever touch, but they are next to one another. And so I'm drawing parallel lines, which is following the frame on the outside. I'm going to go slow and I'm going to draw this smaller circle that's parallel with the outside line. So see, here's the outside line, and this is the inside line. Okay, there we go. Now the other one. After you do your parallel lines, parallel lines, that's hard to say, parallel lines, say it three times, parallel lines, parallel lines, parallel lines. It's a lot of L's, L's in those words. So then after you do this, you know, you can make an, any adjustments that you might need to do, like, oh, that's too pointy. I want that to be round like a circle, so I'm going to fix it. Yep. And then we need to make this 
have a parallel line for the bridge of the nose because the nose is going to be down here and with the fur, okay. And if you want, you can think about where the eyes are going to be in the inside. But you're going you're gonna to color and paint this and then cut it out when it's dry, okay. So there are the glasses. Now, if I wanted to make my glasses into hearts, let me show you that. I'm just going to erase it and draw on this one. You're still going to hold your thumbs on the end to get the edge of the glasses right here and then make your the sides of your glasses, which are the frame that goes over the ears. Okay, that's still going to happen. But let's try the hearts. Okay, so the hearts draw, and this is why I drew the, the, the oval shape for my eye on the inside so I know that there's, they're going to be in the middle, relatively in the middle. So here's what I do. I draw a really big heart. It's going to touch here. And it's going to touch the bridge of the nose here. There's one heart. And after I do the outside, guess what? I'm going to do the inside and I'm going to do a smaller heart, but I'm going to go slow. And it's okay if you have to turn your paper. I'm going to go slow and I'm going to follow the outside line with my pencil to do an inside line, which is a parallel line. Now this is getting hard to see, so I'm gonna trace it with my Sharpie. Pretend I drew it all with my pencil first, and I made my eraser marks wherever I needed to go. And then I'm gonna trace it with my Sharpie pencil, pen, I mean, my Sharpie. Okay, good, looking good. I'm gonna have to connect that longer to connect to the bottom of that heart. Do you see how I did that heart? So here's the other heart. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna make it go pointy straight down from that, from that eye. Oop. And now I'm going to do a parallel line. Remember, I'm going to do a parallel line and follow the outside curve. And if I have to turn my paper, that's okay. That actually is helpful. So do that. That's something artists do. We turn our paper so it's easier to draw all the way around. It's easier to turn the paper than turn my body around the table. So that's what I do sometimes. Last thing. Fix the outside lines of that, those glasses. And now I have heart glasses. So I could do heart glasses or I could do circle glasses. If you wanna try, you can do the stars. The stars are the hardest ones. I still have to make my stars as big as these circles. So here's my suggestion. Get your piece of paper out. Do the first thing I suggested to do. Take your paper with your pencil, not your Sharpie. <laughs> Take your thumb and go, okay, there's the end of that. And here's the end of this thumb. And that's the end, those are the two ends of my stars or my glasses, whatever my glass shapes are. But before I make glasses, and I, here's my middle. So if you don't know where the middle are, oh, this is a good trick. If you don't want to know exactly where the middle is, you can fold your paper in half, just like that, see the crease? That's the middle. So this will be the bridge of my nose. Now I still need to make stars. So draw a pretend eyeball of your rabbit in the middle and then draw as big as you can. You can either draw it like this. Some of us know how to make stars like this. And then you would erase the middle parts or you could draw, some people know how to draw stars like this. This is more challenging now. So see my stars here? First I draw a triangle at the top. Then I draw 
a point over here and a point over here and then I draw the legs but if that is not good for you draw it this way and then once you draw it this way I'll show you the next step look at this I'm going to take my sharpie and just follow the outside line and then I'm going to do parallel lines with my pencil and then I'm going to follow it. So you would do this with pen this next step with pencil. You would go like this. And then you would follow those lines with your sharpie. Okay. Okay. You would still do the bridge of the nose. It would just go all the way over here and all the way over there. You would still do the ear holder part of the frame. Okay. All right. So that's how you do the star glasses. They are harder, but they are fun. The hearts are pretty cute and so are the circles. Okay. So the bow, let me show you how to do a bow. I'm going to draw a bow on the other side of this one. All right, so the first thing I did was in the corner of my paper, I drew a round box shape. So it kind of looks like a marshmallow when you look at it this way. And then I took the top of the bow and I made it like a big round kind of bubble. And then I took the other side of the bow like another bubble. Next, I did these lines. One, two, three. Look like eyelashes. One, two, three. And down here, I did a little loop like that. Or a teardrop shape. So that's how I did the, the bow which could be a bow in the, in the ear or a bow on their neck maybe. Maybe you wanna put the bow down, down here, like a bow tie. That could be cool. All right, so there is the bow and the glasses. Next, the carrot. Let me show you how to make the carrot and the flowers. So the carrot, I'm just gonna draw this carrot on this. Here we go. I took my paper and I went from the top I found this is going to be like a cone or a round triangle with round point. So here, if you want to do the triangle, draw a giant triangle first. It's okay if we have to erase. That's what erases are for. And then after you make the giant triangle, make this round down here. And erase your pointy part. Okay. There's the triangle for your carrot. Next, we draw lines going in like this to show the grooves of how the carrot grows. Pretty cool. Now the carrot top. The carrot top is like giant pieces of grass, but they're not grass. It's part of the plant of the carrot. So I just did big zigzags. And you might want to erase and clean up any lines you might have, but I made this part round and this part round of my triangle. And it looks like a carrot. And then of course I use the Sharpie or the black marker and I outline my lines before I paint. Okay, carrot. Now, after the carrots, let me show you how to do the flower crown. This flower crown is gonna look really cool when it's all done. I think the flower crown is gonna be my favorite. Of course, after you draw it with pencil, you're going to go over it with your black Sharpie marker. And the reason we're doing that is because you will see this look even better on your, uh, it'll be very vivid and, and bold. You'll see it easier on your rabbit. Now, if you don't want to use the marker, it's okay. You don't have to for this. You do need to have marker 
the marker for the fur lines, which we already did. See how that's going to look? Okay, so first, before I did marker, I used my pencil and I used the entire length of this. So see how the paper's not up and down? Up and down, that shape was for the carrot. We're going to go sideways, which is horizontal. Up and down is vertical. We're going to go horizontal, just like the horizon line when you look out at the sunset. And I took my pencil and I drew an arch, kind of like a rainbow. I'm going to erase it later. It's just my guide. This is my guide of where I want my flowers to go. Okay. All right. I'm going to erase some of the lines so they're not too dark. Then you're going to take your pencil and you're going to make some flower shapes. Now you can do any flower you want. You can do a daisy. You could do a tulip. Right. You could do a rose. Here's how I did a rose. I went spiral. See that? And then I went down and over on the bottom of the flower is the little green part of the rose. You could also do like a posy, which kind of looks like a daisy, but the middle might have circles, little dots, any kind of flower you want. Then you also want to put in a few leaves. So here's how I do the leaves. I go a teardrop shape like this, see? And then I do a line down the middle, whoop, and a couple lines on the sides. You could put a, a leaf on the inside or on the very tips, the ends of your arch. So here's my other leaf. I'm gonna have two leaves because I don't want to have too many leaves. I want to have more flowers showing the leaves. So that's how you make that. You're still going to outline your, your flowers with the mark, marker um, if you want. I want to, it's your choice. And you do want to paint this or color it. Now it is your choice if you want to color it with crayons or markers or watercolors. I'm going to use my watercolors but if you want to use something else that you're excited about doing, go for it. It's okay. You can color it any way you want. However you color your accessories of carrots or flowers or bows or glasses, after they're colored, you're going to cut them out. Because when you cut them out, guess what you're going to do? You're going to cut them out and then you're going to glue them on top of your dried painting of your rabbit. Okay. So, I will show you the next step of gluing in the next video, just to make sure that we're all doing it in a good way so that it stays put onto our rabbits. Thank you guys. You are so good. I can't wait to see what you come up with for your beautiful springtime rabbits. And uh, have a great day. Be kind. Let's shine. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.